Okay, for this demonstration slash tutorial, whatever you want to call it, uh, we're going to continue on learning about the NIOS 2 uh, softcore processor in uh, Intel's Quartus Prime, Intel FPGAs. Uh, this time, we're going to build on our Hello World that we did in the previous video, and we're going to add a parallel input-output core to that system. So we'll get started, we'll fire up Cordis here, and as always, we'll do our new project wizard. All right, we will go put this in our video demos folder that we created last time. We'll create a new one. We'll call this Hello Nios PIO. We'll select that folder. And we'll also name our project that. Uh, quickly go through these. Again, we are the 5 CSX F6 D6 FC31 C6. I did something wrong. Oops, I got two sixes in there. D6 FC31 C6. Oops. I still got something wrong. F C S X F C six D six F thirty one C six. There we go. Get the right chip. And we'll go ahead and create that project. All right, our project is created. So we can go ahead and fire up platform designer and that will let us set up our system. And we're going to make this system pretty much exactly like we did our Hello World system, but we're just going to add an additional component in. Um, so that additional component will be that PIO core. So first things first, we need an IS2 processor. And I am just going to do the fast version of the full we need some on-chip memory. I'm going to give myself a little more than 4K this time. We're going to give ourselves 40K, so I'll just add a zero behind that. Um, we need that JTAG UART. And again, I'm just going to take the defaults on that one. And then we need that PIO core. So we'll just type in PIO and we'll add that in. And this time we're going to set our um, our output. We're going to make this an output and we're going to make it 10 bits. That is to match the LEDs on the D10 standard here. So we will uh, be doing that. So we'll make it 10 bits of output. Uh, resetting it to a zero is great. I don't need to change any of the rest of this stuff. So go ahead and hit finish there. Um, like always, we'll rename these, right? So we'll call this NIOS um, PIO. We'll call this SRAM. We'll call this uh, debug. And we'll call the PIO core LED. All right, and we'll wire this up pretty much like we did last time. So the reset, um, debug reset request goes up to the clock in reset. We wire up clock and reset to each of our peripherals. So we'll go ahead and do that here. Um, the SRAM gets both data master and instruction master. The debug gets only data and the LEDs only gets data. Um, we have our debug interrupts that we have to wire up. And the last thing we got to do is I need to be able to hook these LEDs up to the physical board, right? So we have to do an external connection. So we need to just double click here and we'll call it LEDs. Um, this is basically an export of a port to outside of the processor system so we can physically hook it up on the FPGA. So that's pretty much our system. We need to assign our base addresses. We need to assign our vectors. 
And there we go. We have all green. We're pretty good. We just need to do a file save. We'll give it the same name as our top level. That way we don't have to do an instantiation template for it. And that will be saved. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit that generate HDL and we'll generate our IP. Okay, our IP is generated. I can go ahead and close that and hit finish in Platform Designer. And as always, Cordis is going to say, hey, you generated some IP. You should probably import that. So we'll go do that. We'll switch over here to the file view and we'll add in our IP. Uh, we'll hit our three little dots here. We called it Hello NIOS PIO. And then in the synthesis folder, we'll see our quip file. That's the one we want to bring in. We'll go ahead and hit OK, and we'll go to our hierarchy. And then we'll do a quick compile so that we can assign our pins. All right, our analysis and elaboration quick compile is done. We can now go ahead and assign our pins. We'll do that by going to Assignments, Pin Planner. Um, and the first thing we need to do is change our IO standard to 3.3 volts to match our board. So we'll get that done really quickly. Um, now we can cheat with this. We can directly edit the QSF file in our project. Um, I just think for demo purposes, it's a lot more explicit to show the actual pin planner. Um, we know our clock is on AF14. So I can grab that really quick and we can put that on our clock. And then um, we can scroll down and we'll see our push buttons and our switches. And there's our LEDs. So we here's our LED layout starting with nine through zero. Um, we can go ahead and get those assigned. I'm just going to move that over to another monitor so we can I can watch it while we're doing this. And basically, 9 is on AC22. 8 is on AB22. 7 is on AF24. 6 is on AE24. 5 is on AF25. Um, four is on AG25, three is on AD24, two is on AC23, one is on AB23, and zero is on AA24. So there's all of our pins assigned. We can go ahead and close this and we'll kick off that full compile. All right, while that full compile is happening, we can go ahead and start our software portion of this demonstration slash tutorial. We'll go to Tools, NIOS 2 Software Build Tools for Eclipse. And that will bring up our Eclipse uh, editor so that we can create our system. I need to go out to the D drive video demo. Hello, NIOS PIO. And we want to make a new folder called software. So that's the folder we'll use for our workspace. All right, we have Eclipse open. We can go ahead and maximize that. And then we'll do a file new, uh, file new NIOS 2 application and BSP from template. And first things first, we got to go grab our SOPC info. So let's go out to our D drive, video demo, hello, NIS PIO. All right, and the reason we rename our processors again, we'll see it pop up right here once it's parsed. Our processor was NIOS PIO. We'll just call this hello, NIOS PIO, hello world small. 
And I'm just going to go ahead and hit finish because I know the BSP portions are fine. Okay, Proj uh, the projects are created. Um, before I change anything, I always like to build the base project just to make sure that everything came okay. So we'll go ahead and start that build process. Okay, our project's built fine, so we'll go ahead and open up our Hello World Small. Um, I'm going to need a couple more files open. I need the system.h, and under drivers, um, include, we're going to see Altera Avalon PIO regs. So we'll also want to grab that one so we can talk to that PIO core that we put in. So let's go back here. I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff at the top. Uh, all right, so we're going to include our Altera standard IO. We also need to do a pound include. Um, actually, let's change this to just be uh, standard IO. Um, let's include system.h. And I need to do a pound include on that Altera Avalon PIO regs.h. Um, we'll change this to a printf. I don't like while loops like that, so we'll fix that while we're here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set a value in the PIO core. Uh, this will turn on LEDs. And then we're going to read and print the value of the PIO core. So it's a fairly simple demo. That's what we're going to do. So in order to set a value in the PIO core, first things first, we got to go over to this Altera Avalon PIO regs file. This is our basically our driver for that. And what I want to find is right here at the top, IOWR, IO write to the Altera Avalon PIO data. I want to write to the data. And we'll notice it takes a base address and whatever we're going to write. So I'm just going to hit Control C there. We'll go back here, we'll hit Control V, and then the base address. I get that from the system.h. So we'll go to our system.h and we'll scroll down. Here's our LED, this is our PIO core. I just need to grab that LED's base right there. So we'll grab that LED's base, and then, oh, let's write... Let's write an A pattern. We have 10 bits, so an A would be a 2 AA. And then down here, we're just going to do a printf um, LEDs value colon 0x percent x. And then we want to do a read, an IO read of that same thing. So we'll go back here. We'll call that, and that is LEDs underscore base. And that is our basic program. So we'll go ahead and hit save here, and then we will rebuild our project. Okay, looks like our project is finished. Let's go back to Cordis and check to see if our uh, complete synthesizing is done. And it looks like it is. So we can go ahead and program our chip. So let's just save our file. And then we'll do an auto detect. And we want to program the 5 CSX FC 6D6 chip, which is our FPGA. Yes, change it. By the way, the SOC VHPS, this is the hardcore processor inside of the FPGA, if you were wondering. Um, we want our Hello NIOS PIO. And then we'll go ahead and hit that. We'll hit save, just now that everything's set up, and we'll hit start. 
And we are programmed. If we look at our board, we'll notice that all of our LEDs are now off, which is a good thing. So now we can go back to Eclipse and we can set up our run configuration. So we can do run as, run configurations. I can click on NIOS 2 hardware and I can say new. And that will allow us to create a new run configuration. And we'll just call this NIOS PIO. Um, our target connection, let's make our window a little bit bigger here. We can just hit refresh and then we're going to apply and we can close. Now I can go ahead and say run as NIOS 2 hardware and we're already built. So this will go through the process of downloading our software project onto the Softcore processor inside the FPGA. All right, it ran the first time. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't always run the first time, you can hit the red stop button and run it again. But there's our output, hello from NIOS 2. Our LED's value is 0x2AA, which is what we set it to right there. And if we look at our camera, we have on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. So our pattern is there. Um, we can change that pattern. Obviously, if we want all of them to be on, we could set this to be a 3FF. Uh, we can save that, and then we can just do another um, run as NIS2 hardware. And of course, to do that, it will have to recompile, so it'll invo invoke the make because we changed the source file. Okay, we're now downloading to the NIOS. 64% here. And there we go. Hello from NIOS 2. Our LED's value is now 3FF. And if we look at our um, board, we can see that all the LEDs are now on. Um, I got a little bit of a bright light, so you can kind of see better there. So they're all on. Um, and with that, that will conclude this demonstration. Thank you.